When you work in the lab with stem cells, you have very often a situation where you have only a tiny amount of material that you would like to analyze via qPCR. And this was not possible via standard methods. By working with BioRight, they helped us developing a workflow that allows us to phenotype stem cells for more than 100 markers at once in a very short time. And by using this workflow, we can now increase our throughput. We can use much more time points for analysis. And by this, we get much better and faster information to develop xenophilic culture conditions for human pluripotent stem cell lines. to use human embryonic stem cell lines in um, human therapeutics, you must prevent that any pathogens are transferred to human recipients. And so there is an agreement that so-called xenofree or animal-free culture conditions have to be established. And step by step, a lot of culture conditions had to be changed. Whenever we change any factor, like a growth factor, a matrix protein, the first assay that we always perform is gene expression analysis by standard qPCR. We usually look first for changes in pluripotency markers. They should be unchanged. And then also in the second step, we look at differentiation markers to see if our culture condition can be used to improve the differentiation of pluripotent stem cell lines. And we had frequently the problem when we try a new culture protocol, we have 10 or 20 embryoid bodies, which are basically 3D cultures of human embryonic stem cell lines. They consist of a few hundred cells. And we were not able to find a protocol that allows us consistently to isolate sufficient RNA from these structures. One big advantage of this new workflow is that you do not need to use a column to purify your RNA. You start with a single shot lysis buffer that allows us to generate a total RNA lysis from individual embryo bodies with a very fast, very effective method. And whatever we lysed, we could always analyze at the end. The second step is a standard RT reaction and then um, we took an aliquot of this RT reaction and performed a preamplification PCR with the preamp supermix that allows us to perform a tandem preamplification of 100 targets leading to a 1000 fold increase of cDNA starting material for the subsequent qPCR reaction. So 200 primers in one preamp reaction was just amazing that they lead to an unbiased amplification. We use the uh, um, human embryonic stem cell line prime PCR panel and because these primers are validated, we do not need um, to check the efficiencies. We do not titrate them. So there was no major troubleshooting involved. It worked basically from the first experiment we did. Before we did everything in six well plates, each treatment was one six well, 1.5 milliliters. And when you culture it over weeks, it adds up to your culture costs. And now we can easily do it in 96 well plates with 100 microliter of media and analyze much more factors. We can take samples much more often. Uh, it gives you an excellent proof that your stem cell lines have really a pluripotent stem cell status. You get wonderful plots later that indicate culture condition A, B, C support the pluripotent stem cell state. With this workflow that we developed, scientists that all over the world that work with limited precious samples are now able to get much better gene expression data out of their tiny amount of starting material. And then I think that that workflow will be of benefit for scientists working with different systems, either in the stem cell field, in IPS reprogramming, working with exosomes, with human biopsies. They all have now the chance to generate gene expression data that they could not generate with existing methods.